All right, guys. Today is Saturday. Um, there was a request on what I use for indicators on the MetaTrader 4. So this is just my FX Choice Pro demo account. And remember, this is the white iPhone that I was using to figure out the direction of where it's going. Okay. Um, let's go to my chart here. So on the bottom, on the bottom screen, you guys can see it says RSI, MACD, and the Stoastic Oscillator. Okay. On top here, there's a pair of box R, fractals, moving average, and envelopes. So I mean, there's four indicators on top. And this is on the one minute chart here. And so let's see, let's go here. So when you click on, so when you click on the F here, okay, so you get to see indicator settings, okay? So you can see uh, on the main window, I have moving average, pair of box R, fractals, envelopes, and then on the bottom screen, I have four indicators as well. The RSI, the MACD, Awesome Oscillator, and the Stoastic Oscillator. It doesn't hurt to have, you know, at least four to six indicators. You know, but you don't want to have too many indicators to where you get, you're trying to... You want to have one good solid indicator to where you can rely on at all times before all this all i relied on was rsi and macd i never used the pair box r i never used fractals i never used envelopes i never used any of the oscillators and so <clears throat> this is just on my white iphone on the on my phone that i'm recording right now i'm strictly taking off the pair box r and the awesome oscillator. Reason being is because back then, like I said, I never ever used any of these indicators. And when I flipped the account for Trader's Way, all I used was MACD and RSI. And that was it. The most important thing is you wanna pay, pay attention to the price points and the price value. And so you wanna look out for those price price points and price actions. Those are very important. Um, so if you were to click on RSI, and you can see my levels are set at 30 and 70, I, I don't change that. But if you go to style, I do four pixels. Reason being, come on. Okay. Reason being, I have four pixels on this, and I have I have four pixels on MACD. Reason being is when you go onto your phone, you get to see a more in-depth color. Okay? So, oh, come on, come on. So the black dotted line is the MACD. The purple line is the oscillator. The purple and orange dotted line that follows each other, the, those are the oscillator. The red and green... Um, the red and green solid lines are creating mountains or hills. That's the awesome oscillator. And then the blue line is RSI. And if you're on the one minute chart, you can see that MACD and the oscillator is already starting to point, um, well, oscillator is already starting to point down and MACD is already starting to curve down. And if you look... Oh, well, let's see here. I just want to show you guys something that you guys can catch your eye on. The the two lines, well, the red line in the middle is the uh, moving average. The the outer lines, the the ones are on the outside. They're the envelopes. So you can tell that the moving average has already made its decision to go down. And just remember, the market's already closed. I mean, this is Saturday. Holy crap. Okay, so it's Saturday. Saturday, 11.20 a.m. 
and I'm just making this tutorial that way you guys can see. Now on the four hour, you can see that you can see a big difference, right? But then you can see MACD, MACD oscillator and RSI pointing down. The only thing I hate about the parabolic SAR is that it is the mo the only time that it's really accurate is on the four hour chart. Other than that, the parabolic SAR is inaccurate on everything uh, everything else. It is really inaccurate, and that's the only thing I hate about the parabolic SAR. So that's why I'm new to it. I don't know. You know, some people say it works, but. It doesn't is not is not effective as as the oscillators and and just going back to RSI and MACD to be honest. And plus plus you can go along with the moving average. So the reason why I tied the envelopes with the moving average is because it lets you know, you know, if the moving average what I've been noticing is the moving average crosses um if it starts to cross one of these lines, especially the top line, then it's then then it starts be, it becomes a sell. And if it breaks the bottom line, then it becomes a buy. That's what I've been noticing. But you have to look at a hot at the four hour or I only check the one hour here. You really have to look and you don't rely. Do not rely on on. On your indicators when there's news releases just remember that when there's red news do not rely on your indicators you have to be ready for the spike you know notice that this was the spike on Wednesday that brought the pound down and then they retraced itself back on Thursday and then guess what Friday came by and it dropped right back down again and right before right before the Friday ended it dropped again so that's crazy you know, I never expected this on a Friday. So, you usually don't see that stuff on a Friday. But, like I said, you always want to test it, test it out. Always test it out on the demo account. You know, unless you have, unless you want to test it out on a small live account and see, and see if these indicators are actually working out for you. And, yeah, so, back to the pair of box art. It's only really accurate on the four hour. Because every four hours, the dot, the dot makes that um, adjustment. So just remember when the market opens on Sunday, 4 p.m., four hours later, 9 p.m., and then four hours later, you know, it's 1 a.m. Yeah, 1 a.m., and then four hours later, it's 5, 5 a.m. So it's on you if you want to... I just have it... I just have it on the demo account here, but I don't have it set on my on my phone that I'm recording right now. Uh, I want to see what else I can. Um, what else? I'm trying to see what else I can talk about. Like I said, um, you know, with the pixels, I recommend doing four pixels. That way, you can see. You can see a better view of your of your uh, indicators. Okay, I always do four. But oh, on on the main window, I don't do four, because then you're trying to read the candles. That's the most important thing. You want to read the candles. Yeah, on on the on the on the chart on top, I don't do four pixels because I want to be I want to be able to read my candles. There's always there's um. The book here talks about um, candlestick patterns. Um, let me get my my light down here. Hang on. Try and make sure you guys can move my toy here. <laughs> um, yeah, you guys can you guys can get, get to see what I got here back here. Look at this. Um, this website don't work, but you guys can see what I have on the wall here. Um, candlestick patterns, um, trading times to watch for, um, candlestick patterns again, um, economic calendar that I did back in April, uh, best times for the Forex market, 
Might be a lot. I have a lot of stuff back here. And so, um, that way you guys can see, yeah, the reason why I look at a candlestick patterns is because, because usually, you, you can see the best, I would say the best candlestick pattern are, are, or is these is this right here the spinning top and the spinning yeah the spinning tops here this is easy to identify really easy to identify I mean and obviously you get to you can see these patterns too pretty easily it's almost it's just pretty much the same thing as this and so it, it and also I look at I look at double top and and double bottom reversals because if it can't break that price action going down or or up twice or three times obviously it's going to reverse so that's another thing to take a uh, take a look at um and I think that's all I got I know there were some more um I think and oh yeah so i know that some people i don't know if anyone's ever done this but you can um tap it and hold it and you can adjust um uh, come on you can adjust see look at that. i'm moving i'm moving the screen away I'm moving the and i can move it back what it, what it, why I do this is because I want to know what I can anticipate for the next couple hours on the four hour here. You know what I'm saying? So you can just tap it and hold it, and then you hit the you hit this grid line, this grid line, this black, the one that's dotted out and that's more solid, okay? And then you just move it back, or you can move it forward. So that's another that's another cool thing that you can do with the MetaTrader 4 app and the MetaTrader 5 app. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much all I got. So that way you guys can see what indicators I'm using. And I should have made this video a long time ago, but that that now you guys get the chance to see what indicators I'm using, what I'm looking at. And by far the four hour is the most accurate. Uh, the most accurate chart so far you can't go wrong with the four hour and if you want confirmation then you just go to the daily all right look at the daily here we know that it's already starting to come back down for the pound here so but I know that it's probably trying to retrace itself after it drops on the opening gap so just be prepared and uh i hope this video helps you guys out and if you want to try these indicators out try it out you know test it out on a demo account and if you want to test it out on a live account you know just open up a small account and see and see if this is working out for you all right guys so i appreciate you guys watching um any questions or or, or uh, you know concerns or you know complaints whatever that you might not feel uncomfortable asking you know you can message me and I'll be able to, uh, you know, get those answers out, you know, as soon as possible. So, all right, guys, you guys have a great rest of your day. It's Saturday. Have fun. It's a great weekend.